In this video, we will show you how to perform a basic recording with the Smartbox. We are recording from the Manduka Sexta Moth using a 16-channel NeuroNexus standard probe. First, open the Smartbox interface. To adjust bandwidth settings for your recording, click Change Bandwidth. Here, you can adjust the DSP cutoff frequency and select the desired bandwidth frequency range. You can also adjust sampling rate. Note that a higher sampling rate produces larger files. For more detailed information, consult the software section of the Smartbox manual. Click Run to start streaming data. For this experiment, we used the CM16 probe, so only 16 channels in the Smartbox interface are active. To improve the signal quality, enable the DAC high pass and notch filters. The high-pass filter attenuates signals below the cutoff frequency, and the notch filter attenuates hum from mains electricity. Note that these filters only affect what you see in the Smartbox interface, and are not applied to the signals that are saved to file. Unused or bad channels can be disabled. Click on the relevant channel and press spacebar to disable. Disabled channels are not saved to file, and can help reduce file sizes. If you accidentally disable a desired channel, press the spacebar again to re-enable it. To observe channels in closer detail, select a channel and click Open Spike Scope. The spike scope is a 3 millisecond display of the selected waveform. Waveforms are triggered by a user-selected voltage threshold, which can be selected by clicking on the waveform plot. If needed, adjust the voltage scale. The voltage threshold can also be adjusted by manually entering a value. Threshold values only affect stream signals. Data files will contain the full waveforms along with user-specified threshold values. To enable auditory monitoring, select a channel and click Set DAC to Selected. Adjust the gain and slicer sliders to your preference. The gain slider acts as a volume control, and the slicer filters out noise, increasing the audibility of neural spikes. To monitor a different channel, select the channel and click Set DAC to Selected again. You may also visually monitor analog waveforms via an oscilloscope connected to a DAC out port. Up to this point, the Smartbox has only been streaming data. Now that we have the probe in an active region, we can begin recording. To do so, click the Stop button to pause streaming. Before recording, you may select your desired file format. More information on file formats can be found in the Smartbox manual. Then, click Select Base File Name to save your recording files in your desired folder with an appropriate file name. The Record button will be grayed out until you have entered a base file name. When this is done, hit Record. At the end of your recording session, click Stop.